Hi everyone, my name is Brian. I'm a junior here at Richmond. Currently, I'm standing here next to West Hampton Lake, which is a lake right in the middle of our campus. But today, I'm gonna take you on a tour of some of our residence halls. So we're actually gonna head to another first year residence hall that's on the other side of campus. We're gonna cross back over the lake. I'm a freshman and I'm Meredith and I'm also a freshman. So first we have our friend wall. Um, everybody who comes in the room we've taken a Polaroid of and then Very nice. we have our desks. It's good to do work. Nice. We have a chair to do all of our stuff that was provided by the university. So this is my bed. I also have matching lights. Got a couple of prints that I got. I just think it makes it a little bit more colorful. And then yes my desk and some organization and I also have a little friend wall of friends that I've made here and friends from back home. So this room, they come with the desk, the cabinet, the chair. Um, this is the normal rise of the bed. So without bed risers, um, this comes with the room. And then we just added a little rug and our bedspreads, but all the main furniture is provided. So one of the closets comes with a mirror and then um, I just have a little shoe rack and then there's also extra storage space up above if you have any large items you want to store. Great. So tell me, we're on the topic of clothing, <laughs> how exactly does the laundry work? Okay, so we have that in our basement. Mm -hmm. So however often you need, you can just go down to the basement, swipe your student card and use that and it's free and the best days are pretty easy tuesdays and thursdays to do your laundry during Ooh, lunchtime good to know yeah. and so what do you like about living in laura robbins i just really like the community and how we use the common areas a lot of people like to get together and spend time together in the common areas i'm officially making it on the friend wall <laughs> yes there we go being taped on wow yeah. what Amazing. an honor it's beautiful well that was a great tour of laura robbins court uh, but now we're gonna head over to my friend Clara and to see her room. So she lives in South Court. Okay, so now we're in South Court and we're gonna take a look at Clara and Shay's room. Let's see if they're home. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hello. <laughs> it's Clara. I'm Shay. For sophomores. Alright, so we're sophomores. in South Court. Why don't we go around the room and tell me some decorating tips. We got the desk, mm -hmm. um, Beatles coaster, got my mirror, my favorite part. It's probably my prints from a Richmond coloring book. And what's behind this door? Behind this door is the restroom. We share it with another suite. So we have two roommates in this room and then we have a door and another door. It has mm -hmm. a shower, a sink. Uh, a toilet and then on the other side another set of roommates so technically we can walk in between mm -hmm. this is where we keep all of our snacks um so like chips and stuff right here and nuts and then we have like all of our condiments biggest recommendation if you want something to get up on your bed get an ottoman but make it a shoe storage place Whoa. wow that's yeah. innovation so this is my desk um it functions as a workspace and also a place for me to get ready so what's really nice is you can pull out these little parts of the desk and make more room because I usually have a ton of stuff on my desk. Um, a tip that I have for decorating is to make your own stuff. So I painted these and those. I got some inspiration online and just have fun. Thank you. Bye guys. We're now gonna head right next door over to another suite style residence hall, West Hampton Hall, to meet Yamir. And here we go in West Hampton. Hello. Hello. My name is Yamir. I am a sophomore here at the University of Richmond. I do live in a single double suite, so this is a single over here. Uh, my friend lives over there. That is our bathroom over there in the corner. We have another sink like out here in this like little space, which is where I like put my fridge and like microwave and coffee stuff. So this is my room, yay. I have my bookshelf. Most of those are books like just from like, I'm a sophomore, like from like the past two years that I've gotten. Oh my gosh. 
A tip that I would say to anyone is that please get a mattress cover and a mattress topper. Um, while the beds are comfortable, I think they are more comfortable when you have those two things. So that's something that I would always recommend. So what do you like most about living in suite style housing? Yeah, um, definitely the bathroom. I know living in a residence hall my first year as a first year student, the bathrooms are great, but like having to like leave your room to like either use the bathroom or to like shower, or like brush your teeth in the morning is just like a little bit much. Um, so like I definitely love that now about like being in like a suite. Bye. Bye. You Bye. In your junior year, you can start to live in apartment style housing. We have two types of that on campus. We have the University Forest Apartments and we also have the Gateway Apartments. And we're gonna take you on a tour of both those types, starting with the University Forest Apartments and you may actually know who this apartment belongs to. And here we are. All right. Well, I genuinely don't know who lives here. We'll find out. Hello, welcome. Hello. I'm Derek, I'm a junior, and this is my apartment along with Brian. That's right. What do you like most about living in the UFA? The best part, as you follow me, is that you have a place all to yourself. You have the kitchen, mm -hmm. the living room, and the backyard. The best thing that's happened in this kitchen so far this year is early on in the school year, we had a taco night where me and probably 15 of my friends uh, made tacos. And it was super fun. We had a little party. It's a rare piece of art that I found next to a dumpster. So this is the bathroom up on the second floor right by our bedrooms. There's a double sink. Useful. That's right. Here's a whole room for also that. Also useful. There's a room for the shower. And then we also have a half bath downstairs. Welcome to the best room out of the two of this apartment. Mm -hmm. It's Brian and I's room. All right. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you. And please don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm Katrina. I'm a senior here at U of R, and this is my gateway apartment. So in the first area, we have a little living space. We have our television, the couch. This is our dinosaur bean bag. And then it kind of just flows right in. It's very spacious into our dining area. And I actually really love the kitchen. It's one of my favorite parts about my gateway apartment because there's a ton of cabinet space and also counter space, so it's a nice place for like friends to hang out. Gateway apartment is four single rooms, so I also really like that because I get my own um, place to live. But then I also have a neighbor right next to me, and then we share a bathroom too, and there's two full bathrooms in the gateway. So just two people to one bathroom is really, really nice. So we have our like sink area over here with a ton of storage. And then over here, um, <laughs> is our shower and toilet and the store closes so you get some privacy and then right here is my room so yeah this is my gateway apartment <laughs> i've lived on campus all four years and what i've loved about living on campus all four years is that i can walk to all of my classes walk to my friends apartments or residence halls and really just be a part of the campus community from morning until night so it's really fun and i just love that there are a ton of different options and places to live on campus, whether it be a residence hall when you're a freshman or a sophomore, or um, an apartment on campus when you're a junior or a senior. 